share in the medium term. Uh, apart from that, we are already looking at how pharma is witnessing a lot of buying and dealers topic in the mid caps remains Panisha Biotech. Uh, of course, they have uh, done a new uh, uh, alliance with a US based company, but dealers believe that uh, uh, follow up buying can continue a uh, good 20% upper circuit today and it can uh, you know edge up to 125, 130 rupees a share in the medium term and they expect more uh, positive uh, announcements in the coming weeks as well. All right, uh, Ajay and uh, Gargi, both of you, thanks very much uh, for coming in with those stocks. Uh, one ought to be watching out for in trades today. And talking about Panacea, uh, which where the stock is up very strongly, we've got the management of the company, Mr. Rajesh Jain, who's Joint Managing Director at Panacea Biotech, now joining us on the uh, show. Uh, uh, so if you could start by walking us uh, through this alliance that you've, um, you know, uh, this partnership that you've entered into with Osmotica Pharma, Tell us how this is going to play out and the benefits to you from uh, uh, this uh, alliance that you've just got into. Okay, thank you very much, first of all, for inviting me on your channel this morning. Uh, it's been a great pleasure. Uh, what we have done in this collaboration is that Osmotica and Panesha Biotech have come together to start identifying projects right from the stage of research and partnering in development as well as uh, registration filing and then putting those products in the market. As a part of this strategic collaboration, which uh, sees itself through the next 10 years, we have identified some 18 products to initially kickstart the whole collaboration. And these 18 products have got a market potential of over 20 to 25 billion dollars. And these are all products from, uh, you know, a high barrier to entry generic products, uh, including uh, some 505B2, uh, opportunities, paragraph 4 opportunities, first to file opportunities and uh, these are uh, uh, products which have got very strong technological background like nanoparticle formulations, microparticles, liposomes and need uh, really uh, uh, infrastructure that is dedicated and Panesha Biotech has those uh, facilities to research, develop and manufacture and introduce such products into the you know markets. So this collaboration is very strategic uh, to both the companies and is in one of the largest markets of the world and that is US and therefore of uh, great importance to Panesha Biotech in terms of its growth in the coming years. Absolutely, Mr. Jain. So congratulations on the same. Now let's talk a little bit about the financials. We understand that you're going to receive an initial research fee from the company. If you could just give us more details on the timeline of these uh, receivables. Okay, uh, these are very, uh, I would say, uh, confidential details in the company we may not like to disclose in, in terms of the amounts, but what I can tell you is that uh, all that has been agreed is uh, already being made available to Panacea. The first tranche of the milestone payments have already been received by Panacea within uh, seven days of the agreement signing and the next milestone is due in December and then thereafter almost every quarter. So we have a significant amount of uh, these milestone payments coming in to the company in the next 12 months uh, which have already started and would continue with each uh, new project that would get added to this collaboration. Right. So Mr. Jain, you said that you're going to start with 18 products. Are you restricting this uh, alliance to just 18 products or can we expect that you will expand this going ahead? And on a related note, would you look at similar yeah. partnerships to go into other geographies as well? Yes, uh, actually as you rightly said that we have kicked off the whole collaboration with these 18 projects and what we have done is put behind a very uh, strong uh, joint steering committee which has got members uh, from each company to not only make sure that these 18 projects are launched on time with the filings starting from somewhere in 2013 and ending uh, sometime in 2015 and early 16. We have uh, also uh, empowered this joint steering committee to identify new project uh, opportunities which will be added to this initial kitty of uh, 18 products regularly. Almost every quarter we do expect that a large number of products will be added to this, uh, uh, this collaboration. So this is an ever-growing collaboration uh, that we see for both the companies, Osmotica and Panacea Biotech. Mr. Jain, when will the transfer of products and technology start and is there any stake sale plan to Osmotica? Sorry, could you repeat that? If you could tell us when the transfer of products and technology is going to start and is there any stake sale plan to Osmotica? 
Uh, in this collaboration, the entire responsibility of research, development and manufacturing and supply lies with Panacea Biotech and uh, Osmotica comes uh, in to make sure uh, the uh, supply, distribution and marketing part of the uh, responsibility lies on them including uh, intellectual property disputes if any. So we have divided our roles and responsibilities and clearly we do not foresee any technology transfer to occur uh, to US until and unless Panacea Biotech believes that it would not want to manufacture that product for some reasons. And in terms of your other part of the questions, we do not foresee any stake sale as part of this deal as of now. Thanks very much, Mr. Jen, for taking the time out and congratulations on that tie-up. With that, let's uh, check in on the stock price locked in upper circuit. The next milestone of payment for Osmotica, as the company indicated, is due in December. We take a quick break right here on market.